While this video was made with RBR in mind, this method works on nearly every racing sim that supports analog handbrake input. You can use nearly any USB joystick or flight stick that you want to use, but in my case I'm using the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro because I found it on Amazon for cheap and I like Logitech. The first step is to download and run DX Tweak, which is linked in the description. Once it's downloaded, if your joystick isn't already selected, navigate to your joystick by using the next button. Here's mine. The next step is to select the axis of your joystick that measures how pulled back or pushed forward it is. In my case this is the Y axis, but you can find this by, well, pulling it backwards. As you can see, my Y axis responds the most harshly, so I'm going to use that. First, we want to make our min value the center value, which is 512. Next, we want to multiply our minimum value by 1.5. So 512 times 1.5 is 768, and we want to set that as our new center value. Next, we want to hit apply. Now our joystick should be transformed into a handbrake, a very janky one at that. In most racing sims, you need to invert your handbrake input. In some you don't, but at least in RBR you do. For rally sim fans, you want to access the, the launcher, and then go to controls, and then check the handbrake inverted tick box, and then hit apply. Now let's see it in action. One. Go! 5 right, 70. 4 left, 70. On the bottom of the screen, five you right. can see my inputs. So as five I pull left. back the handbrake, you can see the bar start to fill and my car react. I hope you enjoyed this guide.